Ladies and gentlemen, in this RedGamingTed.com video, we're going to be talking about Samsung's latest announcement, the Exynos 5 Octa processor. So, yep, as the name would imply, that's 8 core processor for a mobile systems, which is very impressive to say the least. The good news is it's going to be using the ARM's new Big Little processor technology, which means it's going to have significantly uh, less power draw than what you would imagine it to. First of all, the processor is 28nm, which is significantly smaller, of course, than the other processors that have been around before it. Now, the basic idea is there are literally two clusters of four cores each. The ARM Cortex-A15 is for extreme performance, while the Cortex-A7 is just basically for lower workloads. In other words, it's to preserve a battery life. Now this isn't exactly a revolutionary concept, chances are if you've got a mobile cell phone already you'll be familiar with the concept indeed if you've say rooted your Android phone you'll definitely be familiar with the concept as you can actually download applications to change the frequency on the cell phone, however for the most part your cell phone does it automatically. In other words, it will ramp up the speed towards the maximum speed as the workload on the processor imp increases. So in other words, while you're playing games, that type of thing, and while the cell phone's idle, it will be at the lower clock speed. Simple. Indeed, most desktop CPUs and laptop CPUs, actually, for that matter, use very simple, uh, similar concepts, shall I say. And... To an even greater extent, this isn't even the first chip to use separate cores for heavy and light workloads, but Samsung are saying it's cut power consumption by up to 70% compared to the Exynos 5 Joule. Um, this is basically by shifting the workload to the lower vo voltage A7 cores. This basically means that the whole CPU could likely fit in smartphones. For those of you who are familiar with the extremely fast Nexus 10, that's actually being powered by a dual-core A15 processor. So we're looking at literally at twice the speed on this sucker. And Samsung also saying it provides twice the 3D performance of any current mobile processor. This includes the company Exynos 4 Quad. Now, with all of the various processors being released in the next several months, we've obviously got the Telegra from NVIDIA, which obviously is going to be used to power their own device. We're definitely getting closer and closer to ridiculously powerful phones in your pocket. Obviously, for those of us who are very interested in technology, this is going to become more and more handy, obviously with mobile devices becoming smaller and thinner. But for the most part, of course, improved battery life is also extremely important to people. There's no point in having a cell phone if, you know, a couple of hours after you're out of the house, and other after it's off charge, it dies, which is a common problem that many people have, particularly if they're using their phone for heavier usage. I suppose it's somewhat possible this could be in the new Galaxy 4, as, as far as I'm aware, um, there's not actually been any specifications released for it at the moment, but who knows, at this rate we can actually be seeing very, very high quality games on your mobile device. Anyway, that's about it for now, uh, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video, I will see you around soon, bye for now.